So I don't like uh, the new age culture very much. I love the messages and I love the information and I know it's all true, but I don't like the disguises, you know, the costumes, the, ooh, suddenly I'm spiritual, so I've got to dress in a very specific way and put weird shit on my face and wear weird clothes and put weird jewelry on and now I'm all new age and hippie and people can look at me and they'll know that I'm new age and what the fuck guys? Why can't we just be normal people living normal lives, wearing normal clothes? I don't even know what normal means by the way. I mean, everyone's normal. You know, each person has their own normal, but it doesn't have to be the new age normal. It could just be your normal. It can be how you were before or how you already are. And it can just be, and then you can just go through a spiritual ascension proce process, um, consciousness, raising your consciousness. You don't have to change your clothes for it. You don't have to change your lifestyle. You don't have to become a dirty, stinky hippie. Not that they're all dirty or stinky, but I'm just to emphasize. You don't have to become a hippie to become spiritual or to wake up or to go through an enlightenment process or awakening process or consciousness elevation process. You just need to be you. And you need to love yourself and love your life and love who you are. Change what you don't. First of all, figure out why you don't like it. And if it's an actual reason, then you can change it. If it's just on your pain, then you can figure out the pain. Just accept the life, you, you know, the way it is now. Accept yourself the way you are now. And don't feel like you have to become this like spiritual hippie in order to be connected to yourself because you don't. I'm not a hippie. I'm a normal person. I live in Tel Aviv. I'm British. But I've always been just like a rebel. I've always had my own style, my own fashion code. And I've never been a hippie before because I was always repulsed by people who try to dress a certain way in order to be someone or to be a specific person or so other people think something about me. I just always done my own thing. And I think that's one of the main things I teach other people, just be you. Go through your spiritual process while staying who you are. And don't, don't feel like you have to have like rust that's in your hair and um, become like, like change your entire lifestyle and fashion just because suddenly you know that you're one and connected to everything. You can be one and connected to, the, to all, wearing whatever clothes you want. That's the point. Like your fashion choice is, has nothing to do with your spirituality. And you don't have to change anything to be spiritual. All you have to do at any given moment is just be yourself and love yourself. And if you don't, or there is specific points where you don't love yourself, like I said, figure out the pain, breathe through it and find a place where you can love every part of you, including the way you dress and your lifestyle. Just make sure that it's authentic to who you are and that you're not trying to be a specific fashion code because suddenly I'm meditating so I've got to uh, wear long skirts and put um, beadies on my eyebrows and now I'm hippie. You don't have to do that. You can just do it any way you like, any fashion you like, as long as you're authentic and true to yourself. I thought that was important because I'm getting a lot of new age crap from the internet lately and it's all fine, it's all good. I love the stuff, I love the content, I just don't like the costumes and the fakeness in it. And I do feel a lot of fakeness and you know, things that are not authentic. So I just thought I would talk to people like me who don't like hippies because of the costumes, because of the fakeness, and they're looking for authentic spiritual people who are just living their lives and spiritual. And I'm just here to tell you that it's possible. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.